Hey there and happy Saturday. It's not too often that I um, put something together for you guys on a Saturday, but um, like I said, I was a little bit behind and it feels good to catch up and get back on schedule a little bit. And um, I did some rock picking this morning um, and conquered a couple fields with that. So felt good to get some of that done and enjoy some fresh air here too. Hello, Lisa. It's so good to see your name pop up there. So I'm continuing on actually finishing up with Julie Hendrickson's virtual stamp party. And so um, I did, I'm going to show you when I'm done with the video. Hopefully I remember the first card that I did because it was three weeks ago and it was so long ago. Hi there, Lois. Um, and so with that, um, uh, that way you can kind of get uh, another view of the three cards. If somebody orders through a party, you kind of know what you're getting. Or um, if you haven't ordered and you're planning on it, you'll know what that surprise is going to be in the mail. Hey there, Becky. Hi, Kay. So um, lo looks like a lot of you are on here. So I'm going to put my iPad down and I'm going to show you the card. I'm going with a whole elegant twist here. So once again, the blessing of um, appreciation right now is huge in my life. Um, and this card is another one kind of like last night. So um, I had setting out before I left um, this whole suite of products um, from the catalog and I wanted to put something together with it. There again in Hawaii, one of my fellow demos, Kay Kalkoff, and she's from Minnesota here, and we usually chat a little bit when we see each other and didn't get to last week, but I received her card in the packet of swaps that I got, and I went, you know what, this is what I needed, was just um, something to pull out and copy, maybe change up a little bit, which I did, and um, make it my own, and then uh, make it for Julie's party. So I was so excited to have that, to not have to use my brain so hard when it's been so crazy lately. So let me uh, get my camera moved around and uh, show you how I'm gonna make this card. So get that closer for you guys. So let me show it to you up front too. So wishing you a wonderful birthday here. So if you have somebody that's kind of on your elegant list that you like to celebrate a uh, birthday with, this would be the um, the suite of products to do that. Hey there, Sharon. How are you? Okay, so elegantly said, how fun is this? If you have um, a need for something elegant, like the flowers in here and just that, it's one of those that with all the different um, design in there, it's so intricate. Just um, one day of... Um, or one ink um, ink stamp would do so many darks and lights in there. It would make it just look like um, amazing with one color. And then if you embossed it, that would just make it look like wow too. Hi there, Pam. And lots of sentiments. So birthday, anniversary, thank you. Even like for you, especially because I'm going to be working with a tag punch and um, you know, just different sentiments for the inside and the outside too. Life has changed for you, but my love and comfort never will. So um, just some really neat things. And then of course, even this little thing I'm going to use today, a nice little border stamp. So this is paired with um, the Elegant, elegant Punch. Um, and so uh, the two together, if you buy the stamp set and the punch together, $36.75, um, a great value, 10% off when you do buy it together. Together. So I like to let people know that. And when you follow along in the catalog, like a lot of you have said you do, um, so annual catalog, new this month, page 68 starts with the ideas, 69 has the stamp set and the punch, and then all the gorgeous paper. I'm going to look because sometimes, nope, it doesn't follow through to the next page. Sometimes it does. And what I love is I'm going to show you how to feed this in to make it punch um, to the size you want. And then um, what's nice about it is I'll show you how to do it. And as a reference, then you have that. How many times do you watch a video or do something and go, now, how did she do that? Um, what's nice is with these videos that I'm making for you guys, um, you can go back and watch them and see that again. I actually had to go back and watch my own video for the first time because I hadn't stamped for so long and I needed to make more of the cards. I needed to go back for my own measurements. So having this as kind of a reference and having the video as a reference is really good. And then don't forget new in the catalog, they kind of have all the color schemes printed below so that you can kind of go, now what colors go with that? Um, and that's very helpful. Um, for me, I'm always pulling out the what does it go with um, type of thing. And let me quick show you the papers. 
because they are so 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 pretty like I don't I wasn't sure if I was going to get the bundle and then I went you know what this would um, kind of fit a need that I had for some anniversary cards and such but I knew right off the bat that I wanted to get the pretty paper so um, I'm working with some of this today it's kind of like a basic gray and um, very vanilla and then on the other side really pretty embossed gold working with some of this today kind of basic gray and black but then it's got um, basic gray with um, some uh, gold embossing on there too which is kind of fun because how often do you pair like you'd think gray would go with silver so to see the the gold and the gray together is really fun and then we're going to use some of this in today's card which is um, basic gray on vanilla with some embossed gold images there and even that's really pretty with some um, kind of the theme is basic gray and vanilla together and then how pretty is this? So it's kind of embossed silver on basic gray and gold centers too. So we've got that. And then these leaves are gorgeous, kind of basic gray, very vanilla on black. And let's see what else we have left. There's not a lot of choices left. Oh yeah, this and this. So kind of a little pattern there, but that's all embossed too. Super shiny foil kind of. That we saw and then this I think is the other last one so that's definitely embossed um, lots of coppery silvery gold all together and then the back is just kind of more of a plain pattern of very vanilla on black so, so it's so pretty so that's on page 69 in the catalog featuring all of that so let me set that aside lots of tiny pieces in my card today lots and lots of tiny pieces so we've got some basic gray we've got some very vanilla we've even got a little bit of vellum and all those little pieces i talked about and then i'm bringing in just little strips and pieces of gold foil so we've got that and so as you can see just little tiny things to make it all up and hopefully I remember what the sizes are otherwise I, I knew they're kind of off a little bit or unusual I should say so I've uh, laid out my ruler so that I can help you guys because often that is very helpful yeah Lisa this paper is so great I'm so looking forward to using it and you guys know I use gray a lot so this is like perfect um, for people that love gray like I love gray so let me start with let's see it's gonna be the inside the card base is basic gray um, four and a quarter by five and a half folded that way and then to build on that I'm going to eventually put um, a piece of um, vellum on there I'm gonna measure this because like I said there's so many pieces that's why I couldn't even keep it straight three and a half by 4.75 is what that is so I'm gonna set that aside and kind of start building um, the next piece up a little bit so I took some gray granite so a lot of neutrals here and that's just in between the three and the quarter and the three and a half so like that three and a third I guess that notch and then this is at four and a half this way and these little pieces um, here um, they're both three and three this one is 1.75 and this one is two and a half so I'm going to just take my seal here and tape that down to the top and like so so I'm kind of eyeing it so we kind of have just that edging that little matting on there and then Kind of fun to see some different names like Becky I know you work a lot it's kind of fun to see your name pop up because you it might actually be off work if it's Saturday so um, not that I'm always gonna do a Saturday video but it is kind of fun to see different names so you can kind of play around a little bit with this too like if it if you didn't cut exactly right or if it seems to overlap that's okay because then when we come in with this tiny little strip of um, the gold foil then you can see that um, it's just like a quarter inch by three and you can see that that'll kind of cover up anything that overlaps I'm just gonna get my tape going there and uh, that'll kind of help cover up that and kind of almost create like a belly band so I just did a tiny little strip like I said a quarter inch by three and if you get tape or something 
on here like I got just a little blop don't worry because the the focal point here is gonna kind of be put on top and cover that up hey there Kelly thanks for joining in so next I'm going to do my first stamping. Um, there's not a lot of stamping on here because the paper's so pretty and so we kind of wanted to focus on that. So I'm going to use my basic gray because that's the theme of the card, basic gray. <laughs> and um, with that, um, the thing, the card here, um, I will show you, this is what Kay made for her sample that I got. All the things you do are simply amazing, and I'm making a birthday card, so I kind of want to show you the difference there. Like hers got a little shorter. Mine might end up a little bit shorter because sometimes what I do um, changes a little bit when I'm on camera, too. <laughs> Hi there, Terry. So with that, I'm just taking this little piece. It is um, 1.75. So this whole piece here is going to be 1.75 because that's what fits through the punch. Um, and it also references that right on that page 69 of the catalog too. So I know that's 1.75 and this little vanilla piece is in between one and a quarter and one and a half. So one, like one and three eighths then to be exact. I'm just going to ink that up with my, um, basic gray here. Wishing you a wonderful birthday. Hopefully you can get that centered. Perfect. So yeah, I like the font there. It's easy to read, but kind of has a nice elegant look there. Uh, oh, good, good. Um, yes, Kelly, it's fun to be out on the bike, isn't it? Like even today, it was a perfect day to rock pick. Um, a lot of people don't enjoy rock picking out in the fields, but there was a nice breeze. So yeah, to take a bike ride would be like perfect. Okay, so this is also cut. It's just a little square of my gold foil, and I always say, oops. Okay, we didn't get any basic gray on there. I'm surprised. <laughs> um, these little, like like all of my foil sheets, I just use chunk by chunk by chunk, um, and, um, and it ends up lasting a long, long time. So it's 1.75 by probably one and a half. So I'm just getting a skinny little strip um, above and below on there too. So I'm going to set that aside and this is where we pull this in and I'll show you how to use the punch. So this is four inches by 1.75. Um, you can play around with the length of this but the 1.75 is what you'll need oops, to get, um, get that in there. So what I do is I kind of just feed it here and then I'm going to pull it down and I know that I've already kind of passed that and I'm gonna pull it so I can see like how much did I get past there and just kind of position that so it, it cuts off a chunk. But I want to make sure that that stays centered so it doesn't look crooked and then I punch. So now if you wanted like a bookmark, we've got that part done. Or if you even wanted to, let me get that top part out, um, make it so that this end looks um, this end looks like this end. You could just feed it that way too, but I want to um, have that Oops, here we go. Nope. I don't want to do that. Hold on. have to think this through <laughs> um, Actually, I think I do want to do it this way and then pull it. Oh My goodness, okay have to be smarter than what I was like it just worked so well the first time Let me see if I can kind of Oh, here we go. Okay. There, I'm making it way too hard. <laughs> I was like, first time I made it, it just went in there. Okay, so now I'm feeding this like this. Okay, so taking that out and then feeding it, I wanted to take it out so you could see because I think I got it probably off camera when I did that. And um, that's where the 1.75 is good. If you have it at all a little bit over that, it's going to be hard to kind of shimmy that in. So then I'm just going to press that down in there. And then once again, making sure that it's straight across so it's not crooked. And then I'll just punch down like so. And then we have that. So sorry about that. Like I said, I just did it so quick the first time and I just couldn't think through it the second time, even though I just made the card. <laughs> okay, so now I'm ready to add our sentiment onto there and I'm just going to center that across the middle like so and then that's kind of like ready to go on there and do that so I um, have this 
um, piece of vellum that I talked about before. And vellum is really touchy as far as if you put adhesive, whether it's glue or tape or the seal or the old snails, that is going to show through. So I just kind of take and put about three nice swipes down the middle and you can see it will show through um, unless it's covered up. So if I go right down the middle, it's gonna give it a good stick to my card here like so. And there too, you can see it's very obvious. So if you weren't having um, like a good amount of adhesive um, uh, or space to cover it up, it would show like, and all that's gonna show on here are the edges. So this is good, but this is important. I like to show that because some people are like, would it really look that bad? Yes, it really would look that bad. Hey there, Julie. Julie's our hostess. So I'm glad that she's able to pop on and see her video because this is for her, for her cards. Okay, so then I'm going to take some more of the seal here and, um, just put that down. Nothing's popped up yet. Just tape on tape on tape and lots of layers. But I think that's what really makes the card look special to all the neutral tones. Even the vellum plays into the neutral look of it. And now, um, now next I will um, pop this up with some dimensionals. Let me grab those here. I'm just going to do like one two, I don't know if you're like me, three and four, and you kind of go, oh, you flip it over and go, God, that was really pretty. I can't believe like I chopped on the other side because this side's really pretty with that gold on there. <laughs> oh, so yes, Julie, Julie just got home too. So yeah, kind of a crazy day. I was hoping like as it got later and later um, and such, I was like, oh, I hope I can still get my video squeezed in for the day. So I'm just going to put that with the popped up dimensionals at an angle there. And then you guys are going to see a surprise from me. I'm going to set my um, ink pad aside. So part of the elegant... Um, uh, simply elegant um, suite of products besides the paper, the stamp and punch bundle is the simply elegant trim. And in the trim pack, it's a combo pack of both gold and silver because there's a lot of both the gold and the silver there too. Thanks, Kay. Yeah, this is a great layout. And like I said, I'm totally copying um, the main idea from my other fellow demo, Kay Kalkoff. Now, another technique that I'm borrowing from one of my team members, Joyce Nielsen, she lives in the area, um, is how to tie a bow. So this is something you don't see from me very often. So do a bunny ear and then a bunny ear and then just kind of like you're learning to tie your shoes put that through and this um, sometimes uh, these kind of trims um, are really hard uh, to get to tie and so I was impressed with this because sometimes they're almost um, oh like a, a cord that's slippery these aren't slippery at all I was on the fence about ordering it because I don't like things that um, because of the material you try and give it a good tight um, pull and whether it's a knot or a bow it just doesn't ever seem to get tight this does so that's um, exciting for me because I've been disappointed sometimes with other cords but this is good all right hey there Pam so I made a bow that is something I rarely do and I'm just gonna press it or squeeze it on to a glue dot there and then as I pull it off I'm kind of pinching it because uh, the glue dots um, kind of big compared to my knot so I just kind of um, squish that all the glue dot all behind that little um, knot of the bow that I made and then that can go on there and you can mark this on your calendar Belle did a bow um, live on a card because it doesn't happen very often but how fun and elegant does that look like I could have done a knot and did something different or tied it around here but um, I did think about tying it around here and because this is designer series paper and um, even if it was cardstock it's just so tiny around there my luck I would tie it tight and just rip that right off with it because I don't know my own strength sometimes so let me finish it with another little embellishment and these have been around for a while and I use them tons the metallic pearls so I'm glad that they um, carried over too so there's both gold and silver you get both colors in in that um, package 
and I've been using them pretty equal about the time I think one's ahead of the other well then I make something that makes it catch up so I'm just going to kind of put a gold metallic pearl there and there so two down on the bottom and then to keep with the, the theme of uneven which is appealing to the eye I'm gonna put one up at the top here so we have the whole front done um, and this is like for birthday like I said but I'm just gonna leave the inside blank and I am going to put a very vanilla insert there to kind of go with the very vanilla here and here and the gold theme and let me grab just a scratch piece of paper because this um, border stamp from the Simply, or excuse me, Elegantly Said uh, stamp set's pretty long. And so I'm going to pull out my basic gray ink pad and just stamp that towards the bottom. Hopefully I got it straight like so. I was trying to think, oh, it... I was trying to think if it did, does fit the other way because it's so long. I'm like that just a lot of times you guys like to know like if I stamped it the other way, if I had a card layout going the opposite direction, would it fit? It would go, you know, maybe about five inches long. It looks like here's my ruler, guys. Remember I left that out for measurements today. OK, so five inches. Um, so that's how long it is. So it fits really good across there with extra give on each side. So that's nice. And then I'm just going to tack that down with my seal for, whoops, for the inside, like so. Here we go, make sure I'm grabbing the right card because my other card that I did before going live already has the inside done on it. <laughs> so there we have kind of that elegant uh, look there following through. So yeah, um, I feel like I haven't done elegant in a while. And this is where like this whole suite of products was just kind of calling my name because um, it's so gorgeous. And um, I've done a lot of whimsical. And in this catalog, there's lots of fun stuff that I'd picked out, lots of nature. And this was just like, okay, this is just fitting, like I said, that um, slot that I needed just for something else too. And all the fun sentiments that go with it with the stamp set is just perfect for the look of elegant too so that is julie's card number three like i said i wanted to show you guys um because i took such a long hiatus here let me hiatus um let me close that so i don't accidentally get Julie's pretty card. So that's today, card number three. Yesterday, that's card number two. And then the one that I did three weeks ago when this all started is um, card number one. So if you order using Julie's uh, code, let me flip that up here too. Julie's code there, minimum $25 order, will get you all three of these cards that I'm making um, for her party as a thank you from both her and I. And let me get this flipped around. So her party's staying open um, through the weekend as well as um, Brenda Stuckey's and my mystery hostess that I'll be demoing next week. So that's how you'll get the cards that I made um, using that code. And if you order a lot of you, um, if um, you know where to put the code. If not, let me know. Like if your order went through, um, I can call Stampin' Up! and have that code added. Um, so that's not a big deal at all. Um, so it just helps me to know which hostess that you intended to have it go towards so that she gets the credit and you get the right cards because some of you actually order because you want those cards. Like a card like today, I would love to have on hand for the fact that I could get out my ruler, make more of it, but I would need all those measurements and such. So having the card um, in front of me would... Um, um, help with that. So thanks so much, Kay. And then uh, next week, I'm either going to start demoing Monday or Tuesday. And so um, depending on uh, maybe some things here that I need to catch up on, um, might be Tuesday, but I do want to for sure get it going early in the week because my son has his knee surgery on Friday. So it's just going to continue to be a little uh, busy with that and such. And thanks for asking about my husband. Today was a better day already. Um, packed him up and went for a ride and did some errands and so it was good to get him out. He's still really tired um, but it's just been good that he can rest and we're covering a lot of the bases for right now so thanks for asking and we'll catch up with you guys early next week. Have a great Memorial Weekend. Take care.